everybody! Today I'm going to do a little more in-depth follow-up review on the Jack carbine. My previous video on the Jack just gave a quick overview of the parts and had a bunch of shooting footage, but today I'm going to compare the Jack's BCM Comp Mod 1 to the Battle Comp on my AR, and I'm also going to talk quite a bit about the Jack's rail system, which I think is one of the coolest things about the Jack. This is the BCM compensator on the Jack, and this is the Battle Comp on Sprinkles and both help to reduce muzzle climb and recoil, but I do think that the Battle Comp has less recoil. Um, the Battle Comp does sound louder to me though, and it does have more muzzle flash than the BCM. And a lot of people have asked me which I prefer between these two, but they do both have pros and cons. I prefer my Battle Comp, but you just have to decide what's most important to you. And price is also another consideration. This one and a half inch battle comp averages $150, whereas the one and a half inch BCM gunfighter comp is around $95. And I'll also put a link below in the description box to probably the best video out there that demonstrates the differences between these two compensators. I don't think I mentioned before, but the Jack comes with a small D loop QD swivel that I think is from Damage Industries. And it also has a flush push button to help prevent accidental release. And the BCM gunfighter grip feels a little too big for me, but I do really like the storage compartment. The cap has a hinge so you can't lose it, which is nice. And it also has a water resistant rubber seal. And now I'll go into detail about the Geisley SMR Mark I rail system that comes on the jack. Geisley Mark I rails are available in 10 inch, 13 inch, and 15 inch lengths. And the Jack came with this 10 inch Mark I that is Cerakoted in Disruptive Gray. But I also have a couple of the 13 inch Mark I's for comparison since they have made a couple changes to them since the Jack carbine was released. First, all of Geisley's Mark I handguards come with three accessory rails, two short ones and one longer one. And the rail has threaded steel inserts along it for screwing them into. Each rail section also has two lugs on the back that sit into the oval slots on the rail, so that holds it in place really well and makes for a very strong mounting system. You just place the rail sections where you want them and screw them down. Um, this is the original 10 inch Mark I from the Jack, but they've since added a QD socket to both sides right here, which you can see on this updated Mark I. And this Mark I is the 13 inch version of the original, so it's the exact same except for the added QD sockets. Now after this rail came out, they've since added rotation limiters to the QD socket on the latest Mark I's, which is called the Mark I Mod I. And with the limiters, QD swivels will not spin freely, which is really great. And this is the 13 inch version of the Mark I Mod 1. Again, this is the original Mark I. So, as you can see with the newer Mod 1, they've also added cutouts down the center of the top Picatinny rail to reduce weight. And they've changed the hole pattern on the bottom of the rail, which you can see here. And I don't personally think it looks as streamlined and uniform as the original pattern, but it is growing on me, and they did it to save weight, which is always good. So I imagine you'll eventually see the Jack Carbine shipping with these newer rails. The Mod 1 also has smaller anti-rotation tabs to reduce weight, and as you can see, there's also a new cutout above the cross bolts on each side where you can see the barrel nut, which is pretty cool. And I did weigh both of these bare rails without the accessory rails, the cross bolts, or the barrel nut. And I got 13.8 ounces for the original 13 inch Mark I, and I got 12.5 ounces for the 13 inch version of the newest Mark I Mod I. And that means with all the cutouts for weight savings, this newest 13 inch Mod I is 1.3 ounces lighter than the original. The Jack comes with this two and a quarter inch Geisley barrel nut, which is made of steel, but now Geisley has this aluminum barrel nut that you can get, which is quite a bit lighter and it has kind of a shiny metallic sheen to it from the anodizing. The steel barrel nut weighs 3.6 ounces 
and Geisley says the aluminum barrel nut weighs 1.4 ounces, but I get 1.3 ounces. So that's quite a weight savings if you decide to switch it out. And you can order the new aluminum barrel nut separately for $45, but they have said it will eventually be an option when ordering a rail from Geisley. It is easy to change rails if you want a longer hand guard or if you want to have a rail set up with different lights or lasers. You just remove these two mounting bolts and unscrew these two anti-rotation screws and then you can slide your rail off the barrel nut. And the original Mark I had these mounting bolts which use a 12.38 socket wrench but they were also designed with this cross slot on the bolt head so that you could use the lug of your rifle bolt if you don't have a wrench. These bolts have changed though with the Mod 1. The newest Mark 1 Mod 1 comes with these Allen head screws because they work with the new dog bone nut that's been added here. Now this little dog bone nut for the mounting bolts is one of the best changes that they've made with the Mod 1. It means that you don't have to worry about over torquing the bolts because if that happens, now you can just get a new capture nut and bolts instead of damaging your actual handguard. And the original 12-point bolts are not compatible with this new dog bone nut, but Geisley is working on making a new 12-point bolt that will work with it. To install a rail, you just reverse the process of taking it off. You slide it back over the barrel nut, and it's a really tight fit, so once you get it started, you just jiggle it back onto the upper receiver. And when installing a Geisley rail, there are a couple ways to line up the rails on your upper receiver and the Mark 1 but Geisley recommends using a quick release scope mount to get proper alignment between your rail and the upper receiver. You would just set it over the top of both rails and then clamp it down to bring it all into proper alignment before tightening the cross bolts. So this is how the jack carbine originally came with the 10 inch Mark I. And this is how it looks with the 13 inch original Mark I, Cerakoted in disruptive gray. And here it is with the newest 13 inch Mark I Mod I on it. And I think the jack actually looks pretty neat with the black rail on it. Again, this is a really nice rifle with some excellent components and an awesome rail system, so hopefully the jack will be easier to come by in 2014. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!